This video is about creating width and attack and also central and out wide overloads. So right now the green team is attacking this far end and they have to get the ball into both channels before they can cross the red sticks. The orange team has to get the ball into both channels before they can cross the blue sticks and score. So if we look at this, you could either dribble the ball in the channel or you could pass it to a teammate in the channel. There's all kinds of different rules. As you can see the overload in the middle and the rules can be you can have two attacking players in a channel and only one defending player. You can play two touch only in the channels. It really depends uh, on how you want your rules. So as you can see, this is working on a central um, overload with the two extra players in the middle. And this orange team has the ball on one channel. They're gonna have to work it to the other channel before they hit the blue sticks and then they can go in and attack freely at goal. You can make this a two touch game until they both go into the channel and after the ball goes into two channels, you can open it up to unlimited touch. Again, there's a lot of different constraints and rules that you could put on this. And it's a good finish there, good, good try. And we have, now we have the two blue players, one blue player in each channel and it has to go into both channels, just like it did right there, and now they can attack freely. And when it's after the ball goes into both channels, the blue players can release into the middle. So we start with overloads out wide with the blue players, and then after it goes into both channels, um, the overloads can come in. And that is constraint-based training, working with central and wide overloads.